I'm the first one in today because I'm doing the cast change for today and tomorrow. It's our final two show day in the Gold Coast. It's been just like the loveliest place to start the tour. Everybody's got a bit of free time. The weather has been lovely. And um, I feel like we've really bonded as a company, which has been great. Oh, sunshine. Um, I had a check of stage door before, but there was no one there. So I got there clearly too early. So I'm gonna sit watching the beautiful water until somebody comes and opens up the theater. Serves me right for trying to get here a little bit earlier. Sounds a little bit silly, but I actually really enjoy doing cast change by myself in the morning. Um, rather than getting to work and everyone's already like an hour into their work phase because of course lighting and sound and the automation department and costume have been here for ages. Oh, there's someone here now. Yay! Finished doing cast change. I can't show it to you because it is officially top secret and that no one is supposed to see any of our documentation, but I will take you a walk for who gets them. So we put them around in everybody's uh, heads of departments. Uh, not dressing rooms, offices, so they know what's going on. We also send it out to everybody via email. And of course, if anybody is covering anyone, they have already received a message from our stage manager. Okay, can I put these in all of the plastic sheets. So I've delivered all the cast change, and now I'm doing the front of house board, which I have to replace people's headshots and make sure the right names are there. Um, and that goes out the front of the theater. Just heading out to give sound their cast change and do the front of house board. Hey Jake. Hello. I'm going back to do the cast board again because when I put the first file in and I sat there and watched it all, it turned out that the wrong conductor name had been altered on the template. So it had one person's head on the headshot and one person's name underneath. And I'm so glad I picked that up because they deserve to have the right name with the right face. I don't know how I'm ever gonna eat this much lunch. It looks really soupy, but that is ravioli and some like Chinese cabbage that I had left over. So I thought, oh, I'll just chop it up and put it on that. It'll be fine. I have not had this flavor before. I've had the, um, the aloe vera one, but I'm very excited. What's it say here? Nata de coco. Coconut? Anyway, that'll be a lot of fun. And this was a gift from Marie for opening night because in Come From Away, in Screech, which is the bar scene, you gotta kiss the fish to be a Newfoundlander. So chocolate fish, chocolate palette covered marshmallow fish. As Kiwi as, it must be from New Zealand. Be treat wise, that is a thing I need to learn. I bought so many snacks this time and I just don't know how I'm ever gonna finish them all. Maybe I'll just put them in the green room. People can have it. We've been shuffling the schedule around a little bit with who's doing what thing on the deck. And I forgot that I'm doing stage right this evening. I'm calling the show this afternoon, but then doing stage right in the evening. And yes, I'm quite happy to do it, but there's a part of me that's like, oh, but we're almost done. But it'd be nice to do it by myself and I hope it goes well. I made it to the final Burger Saturday here in the Gold Coast. And I was feeling really great about it, but we did walk from the theatre to here and now I'm wiped. Like I've even gone white-ish. Um, you know, you think, I think COVID's gone and then it bloody bites you again. But I know what I have to do is just jump in the Uber, go to the theater and just sit down for a little while and let the oxygen get back into the blood. <gasps> but it was a really good burger and it was so nice to be there with people. I haven't been any other day because I've just been too tired to walk there and back. And this time I have an excuse because I forgot my suitcase. So I'm gonna catch an Uber back again and yeah, it'll be spenny, but it's worth it to hang out with people. I had a really good time. I think Ryan was about paid a few bucks less than he should have paid. Oh, that's a shame. I finished stage right all by myself. Yay! But I'm so tired. Oh. I'm very tight in the chest. So I'm going to blow some bubbles and I don't know what the hell is going on with that. I tried to take an asthma, pu asthma, asthma puffer, which is, I think it helped it a little bit, but, um, what the hell? But apart from that, it was a really good night and we've got one show left, just one. And it's an earlier show tomorrow. And then we are bumping out.